Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Siantan with Evening News. The headlines. Naga Students Federation extends best wishes to candidates appearing the combined staff recruitment exam from tomorrow. Three farmer producer company from Nagaland receives Horticulture Value Chain Award 2022. Union Minister Rajnath Singh says gap between internal and external security is getting narrower. And in T20 Cricket World Cup, England beats India by 10 wickets to enter the final. Now the news in detail. Naga Students Federation NSF has expressed happiness to note that a much-awaited combined staff recruitment examination 2022 to be conducted by Nagaland Staff Selection Board NSSB is set to be held tomorrow and on Saturday at various exam centres across the state. In a release, NSF said this is realising the long-cherished dream of thousands of aspirants in the state to equal job opportunity and meritocracy in the process of selection to Group C post. The Federation conveyed best wishes to all the candidates who will be appearing the examination. It expressed optimism that the NSSB will produce efficient and capable employees which will bring about positive transformation in the working system of the government. Three farmer producer company FPCs from Nagaland supported by Department of Horticulture under the Mission Organic Value Chain Development for North East Region scheme have been awarded the Horticulture Value Chain Award 2022 for their excellence in contribution towards the farming community. The FPCs are Molsang Organic Pineapple Producer Company Limited, Peck Organic Large Cardamom Producer Company Limited and Chansu Organic Kiwi Producer Company Limited. They received the award during the two-day program on expansion of horticulture value chain in India, potential and opportunities held on November 1 and 2 at Vamnikom National Institute of Cooperative Management, Pune. The program was organised by Union Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare, Department of Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare, Mission for Integrated Development of Horticulture. Union Defence Minister Rachna Singh says the gap between internal and external security is getting narrower. However, new dimensions of security threats are emerging. He said threats of cyber and information warfare pose a big challenge to the security architecture. Speaking at a convocation ceremony of the National Defence College in Delhi today, Singh said that critical infrastructure such as power generation, transport, public sector and critical manufacturing industries are vulnerable to cyber attacks. On the challenge of information warfare, the Defence Minister said it has potential to threaten the country's political stability. He said organised use of social media and other online content generation platforms are being used for engineering the opinion or perspective of the masses. A state-level workshop on known communicable diseases, NCD, Nutrition, Lifestyle and Management, co-led by Secretary Health and Family Welfare, Asangla Imti, was held in the Secretariat Conference Hall, Kohima, yesterday. Principal Secretary and Development Commissioner Amardip Singh Padia, in his virtual speech, asked the officers to see what the challenges were being faced in the area. He asked them to draft the known communicable diseases prevalent in Nagaland and see on the potential solutions to the problems. He said it was an opportunity for the departments to specifically see what the state requires and to be innovative to tackle the problem. Joint Director and SPO, NHM, Dr. Meren Inla, sent them dwelling on the topic National Programme for Prevention and Control of Cancer, Diabetes, Cardiovascular Diseases and Stroke, NPCDCS, pointed out that at present Nagaland has one state NCD cell, 11 district NCD clinics and 25 CHC NCD clinics. She said that the activities include population-based screening, opportunistic screening management of common NCDs, counselling, physiotherapy, health promotion, including use of IEC for behavioural change communication. She also shared the achievement and targets of the department under NPCDCS. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. 
You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AI News Kohima. A joint Assam Rifles and Army ex-servicemen ESM rally was held today at Kohima Garrison on the theme We Care, We Share. During the program, Inspector General of some Rifles, Major General Vikash Lakera, said that the government acknowledges and recognizes the noble service and sacrifices made by the ESM, which includes Assam Rifles, Army, Air Force and the Navy. He also said that rally is held after every two years to facilitate and honor the brave soldiers and urge the ex-servicemen to take their grievances, if any, to their battalion for redressal. A series of training was conducted in Longchang, Longpa and Kanimu villages of the Kupulong block of Maguchung district recently. The training was initiated under the project for creating clusters of modal gram panchayats to achieve holistic and sustainable development through institutional strengthening of gram panchayats and enablement of quality GPDP across India. It was coordinated by the National Institute of Rural Development and Banjai Raj, Ministry of Rural Banjai Raj. The training was on Gram Banjai Development Plan 2023-24 and the localization of sustainable development goals conducted by R. Supung Dula. She emphasized people's participation in decision-making to bring holistic, quality and sustainable development in the village and emphasized the process and plan cycle of GPDP. The training also included group activities for the villagers to have hands-on experience in preparing Gram Panchayat development plans. A workshop on Prime Minister formalization of micro food processing enterprises, PMFME, was conducted at CKS Hall Dwensang today. The workshop was conducted by the Department of Industries and Commerce Dwensang. Speaking as the special guest, ADC Dwensang, Teng Chambemo Dengwei advised all the attendees to be serious during such workshops on government schemes as it would be beneficial and very resourceful for the beneficiaries. Kumchopi Sangtam highlighted the food processing trade for entrepreneurs and also highlighted how to apply for the PMFME by individuals and SHGs. The second session was held on PMFME aims and objectives, one district, one product, banking modalities and process of application and support to food processing and eligibility criteria. The government's authentic documents exchange platform, DG Locker, can now be used as a health locker for storing and accessing health records such as vaccination records, doctor prescriptions, lab reports and hospital discharge summaries. This has been made possible after the Digital Locker completed its second level of integration with the Ayushman Parad Digital Mission APDM. The latest integration will now enable users to utilize DigiLocker as a personal health records app. Users can also scan and upload their old health records on the app. Further, they can share selected records with ABETM, registered healthcare professionals. In T20 Cricket World Cup, England today entered the final defeating India by 10 wickets in the second semi-final match at Delhi, chasing a target of 168 runs to win England overhaul the target in 16 overs. For England, Alex Hales remained not out with 86 runs in 47 balls, while skipper Joss Butler remained unbeaten with 80 runs in 49 balls. Earlier, Hardik Pandya's 63 runs for 33 balls steered India to 168 for 6. England's skipper, Joe Butler, had won the dose and opted the ball first. England will now clash with Pakistan in a final on Sunday at 1.30pm. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Naga Students Federation extends best wishes to candidates appearing the combined staff recruitment exam farm tomorrow. Three farmer producer company from Nagaland receives Horticulture Value Chain Award 2022. Union Minister Rajna Singh says gap between internal and external security is getting narrower. And in T20 Cricket World Cup, England beats India by 10 wickets to enter the final. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.